I'm configuring the CX250 from SMC, and the first thing I need to do is set its IP address. And I'm going to use the PLC tool SIM IPE to do that. First, plug the Ethernet cable into the EX250, and then plug it directly into the SIM IPE. Now, when the EX250 is set for DHCP, it has a short time before it actually reverts to its previous address. So I'm actually going to set this completely up before I power up the EX250. And one other thing on the EX250's power, it powers the outputs and the control side separately. And so we only need to power up the controls. And to do that, we're going to put 24 volt on the blue wire, which is pin 3 and zero volt on the black wire, which is pin four. But before we power up the SMC, we're gonna go down to prepare address, and we are gonna set a new target address. And for this one, we are gonna use 192.168.133. And the only reason we have to do that is because the SMC does just give us a little bit of time for the DHCP assignment initially. Then we're gonna go up to discover device and power up the SMC. And as soon as it comes up with the DHCP request, we'll click OK. And we already have the data in there for 192.168.133. We just click OK. If it gets paused on this waiting for a request screen, then chances are it had to do with that timing of powering up the SMC device and assigning it. So just redo those steps again and it'll work. Also, it's really easy to change the IP address of the EX250 if it already has one assigned. Which is what I'm going to show you how to do now is we can actually change the IP address once it's already set. So I'm going to click OK to set to static. And now when we discover device, it's going to read it as 192.168.133. So if you see this on it, that means it already has an IP set. And at the bottom, you see it says OK to change address. We click OK. And I'm going to replace a static address. And here we can verify this is the IP address we want to change, which it is. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to change this IP to 192.168.132. Execute replace, it says it was successful. And now I will cancel back out, discover again, and now it's on 32. Also from this screen, you could re-enable DHCP to make it just like it was out of the box. Click here to purchase your PLC Tools SIM IPE. It's by far the easiest way to assign and change IP addresses of Ethernet IP devices and you can discover devices on an unknown network. Click here for some more application examples of the PLC Tools SIM IPE in action.